Hello, little butterfly, and hello, everybody, and welcome back to Homestead. Oh my goodness, I have been absolutely itching to get back into this series. One moment, my desk is a bit of a mess. I need to, I need to put a few things away. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, I have been recording non-stop getting ready for VidCon. Pretty much everything from the last two weeks, you've heard, three weeks almost, uh, that you've heard is me being like, VidCon, 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 VidCon. And that is because I am literally pre-recording, like, I think I'm going to be doing four episodes today and then five episodes, not of Homestead, just of all my series, you guys. It's, it's been nuts. But let's get into Homestead. So, we have this grand plan. We want to uh, be able to go and trade to get emeralds in order to buy seeds of the seeds that we don't have, but we also have to figure out what seeds we have. And also, Serene Seasons, the mod that adds seasons into our world, updated, and now certain seeds are only able to grow in certain seasons. What? What? Yeah, that's right. So like, wheat can only grow, I think, in spring and autumn. So we have to now go and figure out what season it is and then also figure out what crops we want to grow as well, figure out what crops we have. So that is what we're going to be doing today. Okay, so let's get into it, enough babbling. So uh, I have been going around and there are these like little um, garden thingies like that you break them and then you get stuff out of them. Like so you get like, um, like crops and stuff out of them. So this one, so Serene Seasons is fully, I think, integrated with um, 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 Pam's Harvest Craft. See, so yeah, tomatoes only in summer. Um, rye is only autumn. Barley is spring and summer. Corn is only summer and autumn. Wheat is, I think, oh, it looks like wheat is year round. That's fantastic. Carrots are spring and autumn. Potatoes are spring only you guys and then like look at all of these they have seasons that you can grow them which is insane i've never as those are eggs those are eggs those grow year round um <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so I've never had to, uh, okay, apples doesn't appear, and pumpkins seem to be fine, um, but strawberries, spring only, and so we have been wasting our time, and I believe it is spring, but uh, today we need to make a season's clock. Uh, season, okay, where, there's a lot, <laughs> there's a lot. Okay, um, if anyone has, what is this? Ooh. Ooh, there's grapes. <gasps> there's grapes. Can we make wine, please? Can we make wine? Um, <laughs> I don't know what it is why I'm obsessed with making wine in this series. Don't know. Um, if anyone has any um, insight into Serene Seasons, please leave a comment down below because I want to know what these season sensors are. I don't know what they are. Okay, um, but what... But back. Okay, what we want to make is a season clock. It'll tell us what season it is. I think I got nether quartz somehow when I was in the nether and then redstone. So, uh, this beautiful little butterfly also just happened to, like, w like, wind up in my house. I really don't, like, I just opened the door and it just came in. It was like, you know what? The seasons are rough out there. I want to come and live in a house. I don't blame you, little butterfly. Also, I think there all right, door, are we going to have issues today? That's what I thought. Um, I also think a butterfly came in here as well, but it must have, I don't know where it went. Maybe it got out. Um, but okay, uh, oh, we did. Okay, one, two, three, four, nether quartz. Uh, that's, yeah, wow, you guys. Remember when I was in the nether and I'm like, I don't think I need this, but I'm just gonna get it anyway. Oh my gosh, thank you. Past Sable, thank you. Oh my goodness, okay. And then red st why do I always get two of things when I don't need two? Okay, let's go ahead and place one of the redstone there. And then is quartz, 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 quartz. No, say, there we go, there, there, there. Seasons clock, okay. And let's put this other bit of redstone away over here. So, this clock, it is, what is it point? Is that, that's spring, I'm guessing, right? Yeah, so it looks like it's spring, but I don't know exactly how far into spring we are. So I guess we maybe, let's get, I, we need to get planting on any of the crops that are spring only, you guys, if we're going to want to have them. Um, because that's the thing now, is that because we can only grow certain crops in certain seasons, we're going to have to grow enough of a particular crop so that it lasts us until the next year. That's nuts! That is absolutely nuts. Okay, so the chestnuts, okay, so peanuts are summer, mustard is summer, 
I don't think we really... Hi, butterfly. I don't think we really need beans. Okay, so summer, summer, spring. Uh, do we want to grow... Let's just grow, like, a few garlic, I think. Like, maybe, maybe three garlic. And then, okay, that's summer. Um, mushrooms are autumn. Makes sense. Uh, so, okay, so this, okay, good. And then, what else? Okay, so, da, 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 that's all fine. Nothing in there. Let's go here. Okay, these are spring. So, let's grab those. Those are autumn. Do, 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 do. Those are all fine. Alrighty, you guys. So, these are our spring-only crops. Some of them, actually, like the potatoes and whatnot, do grow in other seasons as well. Oh, we need, we, we're gonna need some iron, and we're gonna need a hoe. Do I have any iron? Iron. Iron. No. Okay, let's go check over here. No iron. Okay. And here? No. Oh, wait. Did I, did I have a hole in there? Did I? Did I? Did I? Did I? Did I? Do you see? Do you see? Do you see one? I don't see one. Oh, wait. No. It's right here. Derp. Okay. Let's go outside, you guys. Uh, in between episodes, I did make a ton more fences. And so I prepared us ourselves this uh, little plot right here. I laid it out. I filled it with water. I got all set. So, okay, let's come in right over here. One, two, three, one, two, three. And let's just, let's just hoe it up, you guys. We're gonna hoe this whole thing up. <laughs> I don't know why I like saying that so much. <laughs> okay, uh, oh, the sun is starting to go down. My goodness, the days in uh, Homestead are quite short. So let's go ahead with the potatoes. Uh, I'm gonna be doing them in, I grabbed a little, a little more than what I, than what I needed, but that's okay. Okay, one, two, Three, there we go. Uh, we got uh, carrots. We got potatoes. Uh, apparently barley. I'm just gonna do. I think I'm gonna do three of the barley. Um, and then okay, let's get into some onions here. Okay, so we don't have a lot of most things, you guys. Um, actually, some of them I only have like two of, and so that's you know that's that's problematic. Oh, we should probably place our bed down and probably sleep real soon you guys the sun is going down so uh, I'm gonna quickly sleep and then we will get back to uh, planting all of our crops oh my goodness the seasons are going by so fast so fast oh my goodness that is such a beautiful beautiful sunrise I never get tired of that sunrise but let's keep going so I got our turnips here going and um then what should we plant next okay let's do the parsnips next to the turnips okay let's just do, 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 do there we go and then um I guess we can do a little a little zucchini right here as well and um <laughs> What else do we want to do? Okay, let's uh, let's pop a little broccoli down. I only have two broccoli, so bro broccoli, please, please grow. Uh, okay, and then uh, I only also have two celery. I also only have two peas. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe uh, we are running so low on so many things. There we go, a whole other row done. And then let's uh, put the leeks down as well. And then let's do, uh, I think maybe a, a little, oh wait, I only had two, I only had two. Can we pick that up? Okay, good, we can pick it up and blaze it there. There we go, okay. <laughs> and then let's do the rhubarb, one, two, three. Wait, no, I did that, I did that wrong. Oh my goodness, you guys, I'm panicking, I'm panicking. <laughs> I feel like we don't have enough time for me to get all this done. And then, um, let's do the spinach. We only have two spinach as well. And then let's do the garlic and then the strawberries. Okay, good, we, oh, oh, that was it. That was it on the strawberries. Okay, uh, and then we have our tea leaves. I think I'm gonna put the tea up front here and then I think I might actually plant all of the tea because I want lots and lots of tea. Okay, that is it. That is, ooh, I've, I've fallen. Um, <laughs> uh, that is it. This is our entire spring crop, you guys. So, oh, there we go, our bed. Uh, and then also what we can do is, uh, see these worms here? These are, I added a whole mod that adds like stuff that I don't even want just for these worms, you guys. <laughs> Um, so we'll like pretty much 99.9999% of the mod we will uh, the actually additions mod we will not get into but this these worms this is my jam I love the worms okay so with the worms what you do is you place the worm down like so like that on a on a things that doesn't have already the, 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 the no crops 
plot, no crops. Those are the words that are failing me. And so then this worm will actually keep this this plot of um, the three by three uh, watered and plowed. So once you put them, I got these because last winter, if you remember, we were having so much trouble with our hemp with everything freezing. And so the worms will actually water the plot. So then go over one, two like that and so those two plots are now covered by worms and then we're just gonna hold on to these worms and then uh, once we uh, pick everything up then we're gonna go ahead and put the worms back and then we can replant so that's that's that that's my explanation there so what I also want to do is start uh, getting into bees as well you guys I definitely want to start doing some stuff with bees because bees can produce a awful lot of really cool stuff for you so oh hello beautiful purple butterfly oh my goodness um, okay let's go in here I'm gonna put all this stuff away and then I will get right back to you I still need a bridge here you guys oh my goodness do I need a bridge? But anyway, so I was actually over here taking care of the animals right before the episode started, and I noticed, um, oh, a, a wee, a wee little something uh, in the pasture, you guys, and I was just, oh, is it cute? Oh, there it is, there it is, you've already gotten bigger. Look at your long little legs. Oh my goodness, you guys. So, it appears, oh wow, she's already given birth again. Where do all the cows keep coming from? So uh, it appears that uh, our cow was pregnant. I don't know, but suddenly uh, I came out here and I don't know where this cow came from. I have no idea, you guys. But uh, I came out here and she had this little baby with her. I was just like, oh my goodness, you are so cute. But now you look so awkward with your long legs. Also, again, if you left a comment in the last video with names for our cows, I will get to them. Uh, I am pre-recording all of these episodes. Uh, that way I can still have episodes airing while I'm at VidCon. So uh, I am pre-recording this probably about like two weeks before a week maybe before the uh, like the other one even airs so yeah then yeah yeah bleh, 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 bleh. words words you guys words are difficult okay and then also I have been coming out here every day and I've been shearing our sheep uh, because I went around to a t some of the towns and I took surveys on what the villagers would like for me to trade them and apparently a lot of them really want string and a lot of them really want wool and they want coal and yeah they want like the basics you guys apparently they have a real hard time just getting the basics so uh that is kind of what i've been doing i've been putting all of that together i've been getting all of the wool ready uh we let's grab some let's grab some shears shears thank you um and so like whenever because we because it is spring and summer uh okay we ha we'll have time we have our bed with us Oh my gosh, it would take me half the time to get across here if I didn't have to swim. Uh, I need to find a really good bridge design. Something that's like simple, rustic, non-intrusive looking. I don't know, I just have such a hard, ooh, I'm, I'm hungry. I just have such a hard time with bridges. I, I don't, I don't know why. It's just, the br building a bridge is the bane of my existence. Okay, let's come in here and let's uh, shear the sheep while we have time. And then once it starts getting a little dark, then we will definitely have to uh, just just place our bed down. But look at, uh, and then the one thing though I did, I'm going to keep the brown wool for myself because when I was looking at all the villagers, none of them want brown wool. They all want white wool for some reason. I don't know why they only want white wool. I guess maybe because it is, easier to dye white wool you know so like brown wool you would have to bleach it first and then dye it so i mean i can understand that but you know the, the brown sheep need a little love too they're just as cute um but i might if i get a lot of bones uh dye the wool for them <laughs> or i'll just keep the brown wool and use it for myself because i like the brown wool as well okay uh, it's getting it's getting dark i think we might be able to place our bed oh i think the little baby cow already grew up i'm so glad that i brought you guys out here because seriously like that little it was just a baby just a few minutes ago why do they ever why do they have to grow up so fast they're so cute as babies 
Alrighty, I think that is actually the last of the sheep. Uh, so we have 19 of the brown merino wool and we have 14 of the white merino wool. And then so what we do is because they don't like merino wool, we have to process it for them. So we do have to turn the wool. Oh no, wait, did I miss you? Yeah, I missed you, you crafty little sheep. You thought you'd get away from being sheared. Uh -uh. Um, so I have to process the wool for them and I heard things taking damage. Um, and turn it basically into just regular white wool. So I'm gonna go and oh, see, oh, see these. This is them. This is them. These are the gardens, you guys, that you can break and get crops out. See, look at ooh, ooh, lots of crops, lots of crops. So we have blueberries now. We have cranberries. We already have blackberries. Uh, we already have that. We already had cotton. Oh my goodness. There's just so you just get so much. Oh, we got rice. Okay, rice is summer, seaweed is summer. Ooh, we'll have to plant some Brussels sprouts. Oh my goodness. I actually, I don't know about you guys, but I actually do really like Brussels sprouts, even in real life. So uh, I definitely will be wanting to plant some of those. Alrighty, so I do want to kind of introduce you guys to the forestry mod today as well as obviously Pam's Harvest Craft, which you probably know Pam's Harvest Craft, but um, it's kind of hit or miss if people know what forestry is. It is a like a tree breeding and keeping and also a bee breeding and keeping mod. And so like you can um, basically like you find different beehives out in the wild and then you can break them and you can get bees out of them. Uh, usually they are fairly common ones like this is right here this gray one is a common drone and then I think this is like a meadows I want to say um, yeah, uh, meadows. So, uh, and then also if you notice, so see you have two different queens here, right? So they look the same, but this, uh, there's this meadows queen and then there's this meadows queen. So this meadows queen is a pristine stock. And then this one is, uh, oh, that one's pristine as well. I don't know why they wouldn't stack then, but they, you have like a uh, ignoble stock. Okay. For some reason they don't stack. Um, let's, let's check out the princess. I didn't want that many. Uh, and let's check out the princesses. Okay. So, um, yeah, here you go. Now you can see. So this one is a pristine princess and then this one is ignoble which the pristine ones they basically kind of they don't ever die so like if an ignoble stock bee if you breed it um so many times with another with a drone so like yeah you breed a princess and a drone and it creates a queen um and that queen will be ignoble um because of the princess is ignoble and then um basically like once you've bred them a certain number of times the princess will die and so then you're gonna have to go and get another princess but if you have a pristine stock princess she will never die you can breed her as much as you want with as many drones as you want and so let's uh, let's put them back um and so right now I think I have one wintry queen that I found and then I have these which I think they're forest ones yeah they're a forest uh, I only have um, forest queen this is a pristine stock forest queen and this one is pristine stock so I think I might bring these two with me uh, I'm not sure and then I think I have to bring a few oh I only have the one drone and also there is a bee analyzer that you can uh, look at their genome because right now their genomes are all unknown so you don't know what traits they're gonna pass and yes the bees have traits you guys so like some bees can only uh, come out in the day some bees can live in a cave some bees can't like so uh, you want to basically like pick like the bees with the traits that you most want and breathe them together and hope that the next generation carries those traits so uh yeah i mean you can do a awful awful lot with all of these different bees so we're gonna breed uh, i think maybe her and this guy together and maybe okay that's the only drone i have let's see if we just put a straight put a queen in there if maybe we um, if maybe we can get a princess out and then I do have the little beehives behind my house Why do the days go by so fast? Oh my gosh Okay, uh, let's go in and quickly just pop the bees in here So I will show you so right you put the princess and the princess goes right here and then you put the drone in but as you can see here like so they're normal they're normal whatever but uh, so it loads it up it creates a queen and but the queen says it's not daytime so that means that they're not gonna be producing honey and then there's no flowers uh, and also it is nighttime so <laughs> uh, let's just put our bed down here why not can we sleep yes we can 
Alrighty, there we go. So now that I have slept, so you can see now that all of that has gone away, but she is still not going. I still don't think they're gonna breed. Oh, maybe, maybe they found a flower somewhere. But either way, we need to go and we need to, Rue, shh. Sorry, my dog is getting all emotional, you guys. Uh, let's go and like, you have to find a variety of flowers only, and I think, oh, hello. See, this is what they look like out in the wild. So we can just go over here. Oh, hi, Skeletor. Uh, boom. There, why did I, why did I, why did I throw my bow? I don't know. Um, there we go. Let's pick up the bones. Always much needed. Thank you, good sir. Um, okay. Let's, ow, ow. I forgot. I forgot they hurt. They hurt. Oh, they hurt. Okay. Um, <laughs> the bees will attack you if you, um, try to destroy their hive. Fair enough. So this is an ignoble one. I just kind of make a habit of never breeding ignoble bees just because I don't want to ever breed those traits into my lines. I'm back. I had to give my dog a bit of a talking to about moaning and groaning out the window. Okay, okay, there we are. Um, Rue, what did we talk about? Please. Okay. <laughs> um, I've got the flowers. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes this dog. Okay, uh, so we have the flowers. Uh, Your Highness, allow us to place the flowers down for you. Um, what do you like? Do you like tulips? Do you like orchids? Do you like dandelions? What do you? What would you like? Okay. Okay, yeah, it looks like now she is going and the queens will only live for so long and then if you're lucky, you will get maybe another drone in here, you'll get maybe another princess in here, or you can get some honey and uh, all the different bees give you different honeycombs and so that's why you kind of want to have a variety of bees and sometimes when you breed two different species of bees together on occasion you will get a new species of bee but uh forestry is a very very uh, complicated very complicated mod you guys but we will be getting into that even more next time but that is all the time i have for this episode unfortunately Oh my goodness, all these Homestead episodes, they go by so, so fast. But thank you as always for watching this episode of Homestead. I hope you found this maybe a little bit interesting if you are kind of wanting to create a more, I don't know, like rustic style Minecraft life for yourself. Not like the, not like the modern one with all like the new fandangly mods and whatnot, but you know, a traditional style, a homestead style. So if you do have a similar series, if you are playing around with the Serene Seasons mod, if you're playing around with forestry, please feel free to, oh my goodness, look at all the feathers and the eggs. I gotta go collect the eggs from the chickens and I gotta go milk the cows, you guys. But um, if you are, feel free to tweet me at Sable Adventures and I always love talking to you guys or you can leave me a comment on this video. I always, again, I always love being able to talk to you guys. Anytime anyone leaves a comment on the video, I respond. 100% of the time, I will respond to you no matter what. Unless you leave a very, very rude, mean comment, um, then I tend not to respond. But <laughs> as always, you guys, thank you so, so much for watching this video. And if you want to see more Homestead, if you want to see more Sablecraft, if you want to see more Sims and more Portia, subscribe because I post videos five days a week and I will see you guys in the next episode. All right. Goodbye.